You will be amazed if you come to know, why is South Korea looking forward to the Ram Jamabumi Temple in Ayodhya, India? An Ayodhya princess is believed to have mothered a dynasty in South Korea. Once upon a time in the first century AD, there lived a princess in Ayodhya named Princess Suratna, daughter of King Padmasan and Indumati. Padmasan ruled the ancient kingdom of Kausala, a region that extended from present-day UP to Odisha. The king had dreamt of his daughter marrying Kim Shuro of Korea. To fulfill the prophecy, he sent her along with an entourage on a boat to Korea. She married Kim Shuro and came to be known as Queen Ha. The Iodia princess and Kim Shuro originated a clan that came to be known as the Kim Hakim clan. A monument in memory of Queen Ha is built on the banks of River Seryu in Korean tradition using a 3 meter high stone weighing 7,500 kilograms. South Korean ambassador in India Chang Jaebok speaking at a press conference said, Iodia is very important for both of us historically. The legend about an Indian princess marrying a Korean king 2,000 years ago has an Iodia connection, as one of our history books has a mention of a princess from Ayuta. I don't know if Ayuta is Iodia, but it's Ayuta in Korean language. It is generally assumed that Ayuta was Iodia, or Iodia was Ayuta. He noted that the central government should share the program details around the Ram Temple's inauguration for it to receive full assurance of high-level participation from foreign countries. The construction of the Ram Janmabhumi Temple in Ayodhya began in 2020 after Prime Minister Narendra Modi performed the Bhumi Puja for the upcoming shrine on August 5, 2020.